Anthropic just dropped Claude Sonnet 4.5 and it can code for 30 hours straight, no breaks, no sleep, just pure coding power. I tested it myself and what I found is crazy. This AI can build entire apps while you sleep. It fixes its own bugs. It writes tests. It even opens pull requests. Early tests show it might be the best coding AI on the planet right now. GitHub Copilot just added it. Amazon added it. Google added it. Today, I'm showing you exactly what makes it so special and why developers are losing their minds over it. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. So what exactly is Claude Sonnet 4.5? It's the newest model from Anthropic. The big deal here is something called long horizon work. That means it can work on one project for over 30 hours without losing track of what it's doing. Most AIs forget what you asked them 10 minutes ago. This one remembers for 30 hours. Let me break down what that actually means. You can give Sonnet 4.5 a huge task, something like build me a full stack app with a database, API, and front end. Then you can walk away, go to sleep, wake up, and it's still working. It's planning, it's coding, it's testing, it's fixing bugs all by itself. I tested it myself. And what happened blew my mind. But first, you need to understand why this is such a massive leap forward. Sonnet 4.5 uses something called agent mode. This is where it gets really interesting. In agent mode, it doesn't just write code. It thinks like a developer. It makes a plan. It breaks the plan into steps. It executes each step. It checks if it worked. If something fails, it figures out why and fixes it. Then it keeps going. Here's a real example. I gave it this task, build me an API endpoint that connects to a database, add unit tests, create a simple React page that calls the API, make sure everything works. I hit enter and watched what happened. First, it made a plan. It listed out every step it needed to do. Then it started coding. It created the database schema. It wrote the API endpoint. It added error handling. It wrote the tests. Then it built the React component. Then something broke. One of the tests failed, and here's where it blew my mind. It didn't just stop. It read the error message. It figured out the problem, fixed the code. It ran the test again. It passed. Then it kept going. The final result, a working full stack feature, database, API front end tests, everything. And I didn't write a single line of code. Now let's talk about the numbers on something called SWE Bench. It scored higher than any other model. SWE bench tests, how well AI can solve real software engineering problems. We're talking about actual GitHub issues from real projects. Sonnet 4.5 crushed it. Developers are calling it the best coding model in the world right now. It's not just fast, it's accurate, it writes clean code, it follows best practices, it adds comments, it thinks about edge cases, but here's what really matters, it's everywhere. GitHub Copilot just added it. If you use Copilot Pro or Enterprise, you can switch to Sonnet 4.5 right now. Amazon Bedrock added it, Google Vertex AI added it. When Amazon, Google, and GitHub all rush to add the same AI model, you know it's special. These companies don't do that for just any update. Let me show you another demo I ran. This one tests the agent orchestration. I gave it a more complex task. I said, audit this code repository for all the TODO comments, fix the bug in the payment module, write tests for the new feature, then open a pull request with everything. Most AIs would get confused. Not Sonnet 4.5, it created checkpoints. That means at each stage, it saved its progress. So if something went wrong, it could roll back and try again without losing all its work. It found all the TODOs, it fixed the bug, it wrote the tests. It opened the PR and it documented everything it did along the way. The PR description explained every change. It listed the files it modified. It even added notes about potential issues I should watch out for. This is what I mean by agent mode. It's not just writing code. It's managing an entire workflow. It's thinking multiple steps ahead. It's acting like a junior developer that never gets tired. Now let's talk about computer use. Sonnet 4.5 can interact with your operating system. It can run terminal commands. It can execute scripts. It can check if tests pass, it can read error logs, it can patch files based on what it finds. I tested this too. I gave it access to a test environment. I said, run the test suite, find any failing tests, fix the code that's causing the failures, run the tests again, repeat until everything passes. When I came back 20 minutes later, everything was green, all tests passing. It had found three different bugs, fixed each one, verified the fixes worked and moved on to the next one. And if you want to learn more about using AI in your business, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. We've got a flash sale running right now. It's 30% off this month, plus you get 
free access to the SEO Elite Circle when you sign up. This deal only lasts through September, so you've got just a few days left. The AI Profit Boardroom is the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. The link is in the description. Now let me talk about where you can actually use this. You can use it on Claude's website if you have access. You can use it through Amazon Bedrock if you're building on AWS. You can use it through Google Vertex AI if you're on GCP. And you can use it in GitHub Copilot if you have Pro or Enterprise. That last one is huge. Most developers already use Copilot. Now you can just switch the model to Sonnet 4.5 and get all this power right inside VS Code. You don't need to learn a new tool. You just flip a switch and suddenly your coding assistant got 10 times better. But let's be real about the downsides too. First, access is limited right now. Not everyone can use it yet. If you're on a free plan, you might have to wait. Second, it's focused on enterprise rollout. That means businesses get priority. Solo developers might have to wait a bit longer for full access. Third, you still need to validate everything. This is important. Sonnet 4.5 is incredibly good, but it's not perfect. It can still make mistakes. You need to review what it produces. You need to test it. You can't just blindly deploy an AI-generated code to production. Fourth, there are guardrails. Anthropic built in safety features that block certain types of requests. That's good if you're in a regulated industry, but it also means sometimes it says no when you have a legitimate use case. So what does this mean for developers and businesses? It means faster engineering. Tasks that used to take hours now take minutes. Tasks that used to take days now take hours. You can prototype faster. You can test ideas faster. You can ship features faster. For businesses, this is massive. Imagine having a junior developer that works 24 seven, never takes breaks, never gets bored and costs a fraction of a salary. You can scale your engineering capacity without hiring more people. You can move faster than your competitors, but you need to use it right. You can't just throw tasks at it and hope for the best. You need to give clear instructions. You need to break big tasks into smaller chunks. You need to verify the output. Now, here's what I think is coming next. We're going to see more tools integrate Sonnet 4.5. We're going to see developers build entire applications with AI agents doing most of the heavy lifting. We're going to see businesses automate workflows that were impossible to automate before. And we're going to see a shift in what it means to be a developer. Instead of writing every line of code yourself, you'll focus on architecture and design. You'll describe what you want. The AI will build it. You'll review and refine. The developers who adapt to this will have a massive advantage. The ones who resist will get left behind. This technology is here. It's getting better every month. You either learn to use it or you fall behind. So should you try Sonnet 4.5? If you write code for a living, absolutely yes. If you run a business that builds software, definitely yes. The best way to learn is to just start using it, pick a project, give it a task, see what happens. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. Have you tried Sonnet 4.5 yet? What did you build with it? What problems did you run into? Want to make more money with AI? Welcome to the free AI money lab with Julian Goldie. Inside you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, get access to 1000 plus free NA10 workflows and 200 plus chat GPT prompts. Plus you get a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. What you'll also get is a free AI community, free AI course and proven AI case studies. Link is in the description. And don't forget about the AI profit boardroom. We've got that flash sale with 30% off plus free access to the SEO elite circle. Deal ends in just a few days. It's the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. Link is in the description. All right, that's it for today. If you got value from this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.